Hello, this is Mike Radio, Big Mike's Kites. Today we're going to look at the new Peter Lynn Unique series of kites. Uh, this video, this first part, is just going to be uh, unpacking and seeing what's inside. Uh, let's go see how it goes. Alright, so the Unique series of kites, I got my shipping in yesterday. I shipped about half of them out. Um, you know, people pre-ordering and stuff. I still got some left. Alright, so what we have here, we got the Unique TR. This is a three-line kite on a bar. We've got the Unique Quad. This is a four-line kite uh, with handles. And we got four different sizes here. Uh, one five, two five, three five, and four five. On the uh, on the TR, there's two sizes. There's a one five and a two five. I'm already out of the two fives. And then there's a unique play. The play is a two-line kite, uh, similar to the Peterlin uh, hype. This is a one one zero size, a one five size, and I'm already out of the two size. So um, let's unpack these. As a size comparison, you can see that uh, here's a Peterlin Hornet. Uh, this is standard kite size for pretty much all kites out there as far as, uh, you know, how they're packed and whatnot. Um, you can see that the, the Unique is a little bigger than the half is wide, um, but the height is about the same. Uh, these feel like they're pretty tightly packed, um, you know, so let's go see. Now this is how the Unique play uh, comes packaged. It's a smaller bag, uh, similar to the Peter Lynn height. Uh, this is a 1.0 size. You notice it's got uh, lines in the kite and it's got uh, straps for handles. It's got the 1.5, however, you notice it's got padded wrist straps. So that tells me that, you know, this thing's going to have significant pull. Um, the size is kind of a, you know, one five that just doesn't compute to me, but I haven't flown this yet. Because um, typically on the height lineup, you won't see padded handles until the 2.6 size. All right, laying out the new Peter Lynn Unique uh, 1.5 play. The play again is a two line kite. It's got uh, the handles already connected. So the lines are already connected here, uh, waiting for you to unfold them. Uh, the kite folds out like this. You know, if you just think about all your other kites in the past, basically you'd have another skin here and the ribs would connect to the back of the skin and, and the uh, string connectors here would go through the front skin and you know it would create your foil and what they've done here is they remove that skin so it's not there anymore and you have essentially half the kite cuts down cost uh, I'm told it's got better performance it's just you know there's lots of things good about this it's lighter weight so it flies in lighter conditions it's uh, it's kind of neat, but you know, it's like seeing the skeleton of a body or something. But the uh, graphics on it are cool. I like the graphics, I like the color schemes. Um, and, and all of them are going to be made the same way, it's just different connection points. Now, one thing I do notice that I like is they did put Velcro here to connect your, your uh, lines, bridles when you're done. I don't like to keep my kites attached like this. Some people do. Uh, I prefer not to. So I'm glad that they connected, they kept this. Uh, it's something I've not seen on other kites. That this one simple piece of Velcro to me is worth, you know, a lot. Um, otherwise, you're, you're, unless you keep these connected, your bridles are going to get twisted, tangled, and everything else. So let me flip it over for you. All right, so this is the back side of the play. Uh, in this case, you got the Peter Lynn logo out here, the size of the kite right here. 
Um, I'm not sure what these are. Looks like a. Let's see. I'm not sure what these are. Uh, looks like letters. It's got the play logo. There, it looks like a C, looks like a Z or a 2. It looks like a backwards Q. Maybe an O. I don't know. Um, or there's O, N, C. Got no idea. Um, I don't think it matters. It looks cool. The colors kind of pop out. Uh, I wasn't sure about this crazy checkerboard pattern when I saw them on, you know, in the little pictures. But you know, I, in person, it looks a lot better than the little pictures. So this is the play. We'll uh, explore the other kites. When you fold this thing back up, it goes up real tight. I mean, you know, there's only one skin, so that takes out half the bulk. And uh, you know you don't have to push air out the top constantly. Uh, it's kind of refreshing. Um, you know it's raining here today, which kind of sucks. But you know if I find a dry time, I might take this out just to try at least the play. I don't want to get the others wet, but you know uh, I'm pretty confident they'll dry out real quick. Um, it's just kind of looks cool. Alright, so this next one is the Unique uh, TR. Uh, in this case, it's also a 1.5. Uh, it's a different bag. It's longer, obviously, because it, it has a bar, comes with a bar. Um, packaging very similar. Um, this one's the red and the blue with this, with this size. Let's go check it out. All right, with the TR here, this is a kiteboarding trainer kite. Um, it's a three-line kite. You can see uh, a lot more action going on here with all the bridles. Um, you know, you got bridle connection points on the rear of the kite as well as the top of the kite. And uh, same construction. Uh, in this case, you got a, a three-line bar, and uh, it's just a uh, a nice-looking kite here. Um, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to put the play on top of the TR to, to sh show you something. So a lot of people ask, you know, what's the difference? You know, the two-line kites, a 1.5. This is, you know, the play with the one at a 1.5. And this is the three-line TR at the same number, 1.5. And I've always tried to explain to people the two line kites are measured differently than the three and the four line kites. The two line kites, if you think about it, it's kind of like a TV kind of diagonal kind of thing, the measurements, it's, it's, it's that kind of a mentality. And then you get to the other kites, the power kites with the three and the four lines, and, and these are in square meters and not, not measured kind of like straight meters. So. Uh, you notice this significant difference in size. Their bottom left corners are together. Uh, up and down. Up and down is you know significantly larger, and side to side significantly larger um, with the TR, and that'll be the same with the quads. So uh, it looks like the same bar be that's being used for the. Uh, Peter Lynn Impulse TR and uh, let's go look at the back of it. Alright, like the play, the TR has uh, you know, Velcro here at the bottom for the bridles. I've already taken the bar off. Uh, that's how I prefer it. Um, you know, you've got a top bridle over here and a top bridle on the right and then the trailing edge bridles here. Uh, brake um, colors on this kite. Unique TR and ah, this one, okay, so this one doesn't have the odd graphic uh, numbers there. 
Uh, it's got the size and the Peter Lind kites here. Uh, I love the new logo. It's just a nice looking kite. Let's pack this one back up and let's uh, pull out a quad over there. All right, the Peter Lynn Unique Quad Kite. Here's the bag for it. I just pulled all this stuff out of it. Here's the kite. In this case, it's a 3.5. Okay. Uh, this happens to be the same color scheme as the 1.5 TR. Uh, and then here's the uh, lines and stuff. These are the same lines and handles that are used on the Peter Lynn Hornet, Peter Lynn Twister, just every Peter Lynn kite out there. Uh, practically uses these lines and handles uh, so there's no surprises here uh, they're interchangeable they're just you know the best there are you know especially the kite killers uh, these are the best kite killers out there um, so that's a very big plus uh, uh, here's the kite um, I'm not going to unpack this one right now uh, this will be the one I'll be flying when I do a review. It's just, uh, it's going to be the exact same as what we've already seen on the TR and the uh, play, except for it's got four lines, right? Instead of the three or the two. Um, overall, initial quality inspection, I mean, they're all Peter Lynn quality. It's, it's all top-notch stuff. The, uh, design the colors are really really nice I like those the bags are nice um, I was concerned at first when I first pulled them out of my my box you know how small the packaging was and how hard it would be to get back in the bags and you know I repacked up the the unique and I actually have a little extra space in there than I didn't have before on the TR and the same thing with the play. I mean, it doesn't, it didn't pack any different than when it came out. So uh, these are going to be uh, good guys to have. And uh, once again, we got the uh, the TR, which comes in uh, two sizes, the one five and the two five. You got the quad, which comes in the uh, one five, two five, three five, and four five. And then you got the play, which comes in the one zero, the one five, and the uh, two zero. So that's it.